All right, hi everyone. So this is the last spell game before Skylanders, and then the Reignited trilogy. And I'm hoping they're making a Spiral Four next year, or are they gonna announce it soon? Please give us a Spiral Four. I mean, Crash Band. Spiral really needs more lovers. Yeah, Crash has been getting a lot of more games and other stuff like that. I mean, Spiral's been in a lot of Crash. Well, Crash Racing game. A new Crash, Crash Racing game came out some time ago, and a new Crash on the Run, and. A Crash 4. I don't know if they're going to make a Crash 5. A sequel to 4. But yeah, eventually maybe. So this is it. We finally get to play as Cinder in Spyro. And we actually get to fly too. Amazing. To be honest, I only played as Cinder in this game. I really ever played as Spyro. Again, I like Cinder. She's cool. God, I got bitten a lot. Oh, yeah, right. There was a fire. And the Jaguar fireman decided to throw my games out the window. And that's why it's, um, the way it looks the way that it does. <sighs> All right, so the end of Eternal Night, Cinder and Spyro turned into crystals... Then they're freed years later. Somehow the bodies aged even though they were trapped in crystals, which should have meant they should not have aged, but whatever. Now they're young adults, I think. I mean, Cinda also says she loves Spyro, so they're in the relationship. After they kind of died in the end of the game. Kind of? It's weird. It is very weird. Actually, they die, but then they don't die. They come back to life. Some. How? I don't know. Uh, the game is very fun. Um, Cinder's breaths are fear, wind, venom, oh, and black fire. Hmm. So it kind of took a while. Does Sim have like specials? Uh, the game system has some like upgradables. Oh, look at this condition the book is in. Man. And Crash Minor Immune came out roughly the same year. Alright, we got. Yeah, we got. Fish. And Spox is much older in this one, too. Oh, you can also equip, like, armor to both Cinder and Spyro in the game. To, like, increase attack, defense, and completing a set would do, like, some bonuses, too. Pretty nice. Very, very, very nice. But, like I said, I played as Cinder throughout most of the game because... Duh, come on. I basically fell in love with Cinder since the first game. Definitely one of my favorite characters in the Spiral franchise. Uh, the other characters would be Sheila. Definitely Hunter. He grew on me. Uh, he grew on me after, like, yeah, Spiral 2. He was a little bit of a... Yeah. Kind of a little bit annoying, but... Yeah, the more games he was in, the more... Yeah, he did grow on me, and... He is in this game as... A tribal man trying to protect his village. Hmm, definitely not the same hunter from A Hero's Tale or Spyro 2 or 3. Uh, who else is there? Is there any other character Spyro? Oh yeah, Spyro himself. Again, he's cool, awesome. Um, uh, <clears> hmm... <throat> Anyway, um, the gameplay is very, very, very fun. Uh, Sparks is no longer your health. You have a health bar now. So, that's... fun. Uh, 
Anyway, um, playing as a purple and a non-purple dragon is was was fun. I really wish they could have made a Legend of Spiral movies. I wonder who would have voiced Cinder. I wonder who would have voiced... Well, I really wonder who would voice um Sparks if they did get a movie. Uh, almost. But, but yeah, um... But yeah, the game is fun. Um, the world is very beautiful and exploring it. The the bosses were kind of forgettable. Uh, I remember the final boss and that's it. And fighting that giant golem that tries to crush you by trying to climb, and then he was like launch a catapult at it to defeat it. The boss was a little bit of legend. I just don't actually get to fight it. It's mostly running to a uh, catapult and then just blasting it, whooping up to damage it. And the bosses were kind of a bit of a letdown in this game. I don't even remember any of them except for the final boss because that's. Hmm. What, what, what were the other bosses? Hmm. Uh. Shoot, I can't remember them. Dang, um... The grand finale, well... Uh, I'm not gonna say I hate the game, but I'm not gonna say it's my, in my top three. That would be Spiral 3, uh, Hero's Tale, and A New Beginning. Um, yeah. This one is probably number six. I don't know, it's a lot better than Enter the Dragon Fire. That one's the bottom of the bottom. But yeah, um, I still enjoy the game. Elijah Wood does a very wonderful job voicing Spyro. Um, who voices Cinder? Let me see. I think it's Christina Ricky Ricey. Gary Oldman is, I believe, Sparks. Aw, oh, Sparks isn't even on the cover. I mean, he's in the cover of Hero's Tale. But he's not on the cover. He's not, he's not on the cover of, um... He's not even on the back of a Legend of Spyro in the beginning. And he's not even on the back on. Uh, he's not even flying around Spyro. Yeah, Sparks kind of is a little bit of an afterthought in the Legend of Spyro trilogy. He's not that important. Well, you know, you don't use him as a health anymore. Um. Yeah. So it's still a. So fun game. Well, hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, bye.